Tom Moons, standing in the ward of Old Harlow. Tom, what have been the issues on the doorstep that have come, come to you? Well, there have been a number of different issues which have been raised. Um, one of the major issues has been the M11 Junction 7A and the proposal to use Gildan Way as the main access route, to which I'm very much opposed. Um, there's also ongoing concern, quite rightly, about the housing development at Gildan Way, which has been pushed through by Eric Pickles, despite a lot of local opposition. There are also other issues which people raise in terms of general presentation of the area um, and also the ongoing problems of potholes in the roads which aren't being addressed by the Essex County Council. So what would, what would a Labour council have done differently than say a Conservative council would do? What, what is your unique selling point in regards to this? Well I think the the key thing with the Labour Council is to actually, and with me locally here, is actually to listen to what local people have got to say and actually to genuinely engage with them. For example, when people raise issues with me, whether on the telephone, whether on the doorstep, to actually go away and do something. I always say to people, you know, I can't promise things are going to change tomorrow, but let's feed in, let's see what we can get in terms of making of making progress there. I mean, the... Um, the, I mean, a key example of the lack of engagement with people, other than obviously the M11 Junction 7A, um, where the where the where the where it wasn't uh, where people couldn't express a negative opinion in the first survey, which was done by the County Council and Labour, uh, Labour County Councillor Mike Danvers actually persuaded them that this was a flawed survey, and they've had to reopen that. Um, is with the potholes in the roads. It's the, often people think it's the local, count, local council's responsibility. The potholes are not. They're the Tory-controlled Essex County Council, who in the last financial year left 30% of their highways and transportation budget unspent, while leaving us with terrible potholes around around the town. Because that is true. That's an issue for everybody all it, around the town. It is it? absolutely. And in Old Harlow, that's in Old Harlow, that's no different. Anything else coming up? Um, well, not, there are various individual personal issues which people raise with me in t terms of specific problems that they may have which I then have relayed on to, tr to do what I can to assist them. Why do you think, I mean, I get the feeling from Labour all across the town that they, you fancy your chances here in Old Carlo and you've been getting closer and closer. So why do you think that is and what people would describe as a traditional tourist thing? Well, I think that there are a number of factors at play. I think that a lot of people are actually finding themselves in greater agreement with me over issues like like Gildan Way, like M11 Junction 7A, uh, than they w than they would with the, with the, the with the number of the Conservative candidates. I think also and also I think that has presented people with um, difficulties and people who voted Labour who wouldn't otherwise necessarily have done. I think also I've lived in Old Harlow almost all my life. I'm well known here in the community and have been active in a number of different community groups. Um, and I think there's also a personal vote for me here. And I think also people are seeing with the Labour, Labour Council which has taken over in 2012 that things like the improvements to housing, holding Kia to greater account in terms of the general maintenance of the town. We're not there yet, but we continue to press forward on that. Um, that actually voting Labour makes an important difference.